Welcome back to Instafipsy Fishing. I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, but it's because in Ontario, bass season is only about five months long. It's from the last weekend in June uh, till sometime in November. So really you only have July till November to bass fish. So it's only five months. So I've been filming a ton, been catching a ton of fish. I just haven't had time to edit or upload any videos because I have five months to fish and then I have seven months to edit. So I don't release a ton of content in the summer, but uh, I try to put out a video whenever I can. So today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding boat trailer guide posts uh, to my trailer here. That way it makes loading and unloading the boat into and out of the water a lot easier. So make sure you guys are staying tuned to my channel because there's gonna be a ton of great content coming out in the fall and in the winter once I have time to actually edit these videos. I've been doing some bass fishing tournaments and catching a ton of good fish. So it's time for another DIY handyman project by a non-handyman. So hopefully you guys learn and this helps you guys out as well. I'm going to put up a list of prices for this entire project. Remember these prices are all in Canadian dollars. So if you want, just take a screenshot of this page here uh, just to see how much this project costs. And then right here, I'll include a list of tools that I use during this project. Just in case you guys are gonna do the same thing, you can have all of those ready. So again, just take a screenshot here uh, so that you can use it and refer back to it later. So this whole project is gonna cost $67. I'll show you guys what I bought and what tools I needed. So the first thing I started with was the PVC pipe that I wanted to use. So I ended up using Schedule 40 uh, PVC conduit. Uh, it's sunlight resistant and it's a bit thicker than other uh, normal PVC pipe. And the thickness I went with was one inch because I wanted to be able to put a pool noodle over the end. So when I went to buy this, I measured the diameter of the hole in the pool noodle, and then I went and got the PVC pipe that matched. So it's a bit of a tight fit, but it will slide on there nicely. So that's the main reason I went with the one inch. And then I got my pool noodles, which are orange because everyone does blue and just want to stand out and be a little bit different. I've got two 90 degree elbows. I've got two couplings. Premium grade yellow ABS cement. I'm using these rubber leg tips as caps for the tops of the post. I don't know how well the rubber is going to hold up over time with all the sunlight, but we'll see. So that's it as far as supplies and then tools. Just need a measuring tape, safety glasses, a marker, a wrench set. I'm gonna be using a chop saw, but you can definitely do this with a hacksaw as well. A couple more tools I ended up needing. A drill and bits. Also needed my spade bit set, just found out. Another tool I almost forgot is just some sandpaper to rough up the inside and outside of the cut ABS. That way the ABS cement grips it easier. So you always wanna rough up the end of your PVC uh, so it makes a better bond. Ideally, you would want your boat on the trailer uh, when you're doing this, putting the guideposts on, but my boat's in the water right now and I have a tournament in two days, so I just need to get this done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure the width of the widest part of my boat and just see where that brings me to on the trailer here. Because I want to picture where the boat would be before deciding how far out to have my posts. I think what I'm going to do for now is give myself an extra two inches for all my cuts. That way once I load the boat on, I can just take the bolts out, cut the end pieces of the PVC and then go from there. So to mount it, what I'm actually going to do is take off these nuts and then drill holes in the side of the PVC there. And then I'll have my vertical uh, post attached there. The widest point of my boat is 64 inches. So I'm just gonna start off by measuring where that 64 inches will take me. I'll need to give myself another inch or two on each side just to be safe so that there's clearance. So we'll say 66 inches. It's at about 56 and a half. 
and we want it to stick out another 10 inches or so, about five inches on each side. So this brings us right to six inches. So I'll do, so I'll cut my PVC to 11 inches. Actually, it'll be a little less than that because of the 90 degree elbow bend also adds some length. You could easily make these cuts with a hacksaw, but since I have the chop saw here, I might as well use it. So rather than measuring again, just gonna make sure that these ends are perfectly lined up. And I'll just make a mark there. Make our second cut. Now we've got our two pieces of PVC pipe. Then I'm just gonna measure how much of this 10 foot pole we have left and cut it exactly in half. So we've got 91 and a half inches left. So we'll just divide that by two. So we'll want 45 and three quarter inches. So they'll be just short of four feet, which is perfect. Okay, so we'll mark it at 45 and three quarter inches. Doesn't have to be perfect, but might as well get them to match the best they can. Okay, so now we're just cutting the remaining 91 and a half inches in half. Now I'm just gonna roughly put it together just to see how it's gonna look before gluing it together. So only one end of the conduit has the bigger end piece to connect. So that's what one of them will look like. And then the other one doesn't have that big end piece on either end. So that's where I'll need the coupling to connect them. So I'll probably only just need one of these couplings. So that's essentially it. That's what they're gonna look like. And then just put these rubber leg pieces on the end. It's also gonna have the cool noodle on there. I don't want to put the whole thing on, but that's going to slide on there just because I'm not ready for that yet. I made the same mistake that I made in my John Boat build videos is I didn't factor in the width of the PVC pipe itself. I bought one inch PVC pipe because the hole in this pool noodle was one inch, but also the hole in the PVC pipe is one inch. And then once you look at the PVC itself, it's actually an inch and a quarter. So with this project, it didn't ruin anything. It's just a tighter squeeze than I thought. I think my problem is I'm just too trusting. When I see one inch PVC pipe, I think that's gotta be one inch. I was about 30 when I either learned or rediscovered that two by fours aren't actually two inches by four inches. Uh, two summers ago, I was doing a project, had all my measurements uh, planned out. And then when I was doing the project itself, nothing was fitting. And then I remeasured the wood and realized that it's a two by four is actually one and a half inches by three and a half inches. So I can't remember if I already knew that or if I just learned it when I was 30, but uh, that threw a big wrench in my plans. And for the second project in a row, PVC pipe has screwed me. So hopefully I'll learn my lesson this time. Don't trust whatever the package says, just because it says one inch doesn't mean that it actually is. And just because it's sold as a two by four, it doesn't mean it actually is. Which also explains why I had to get one and a quarter inch um, rubber leg tips to go on the top here because the one inch ones were nowhere even close to fitting, which makes total sense now. So I am still able to get the pool noodle on. It just takes a lot more effort. And then this will go on here as a cap just to keep 
rainwater out. So essentially this is what it's going to look like. This will be on here and our rubber cap on the end. I've got to buy another pool noodle. Well, actually I'm going to be buying two, two new pool noodles. So for now, I'm just going to cut this in half and we'll just see how it looks. So it's 44 and a quarter. So we'll just cut at 22 and an eighth. I've never cut pool noodle with a chop saw before. Good enough. Now I'm just gonna rough up the ends of the ABS to help the glue stick. Just kind of like that, just so it's not as smooth and it gives the ABS cement something to grip onto. Okay, now we'll just use this uh, ABS cement. Put some on the inside. Outside. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. So I'm going to attach this to the trailer now before doing the vertical post. So I am still able to get the pool noodle on, it just takes a bit more effort. Because it's one and a quarter inch PVC pipe going into a one inch hole. Right now it comes out about 20 inches and we want it to be out 11 inches so we just have to cut off. about nine inches. So I'm gonna cut it at 11 inches. So I just need to be able to get my 11 millimeter socket through the hole on the far side of the PVC so that I can tighten the nut on the inside of it. So I just kind of went along and measured up against each speed bit. And I think the 11 sixteenths will fit best. If not, I can go up to the three quarter inch. So I'm matching up my drill bit to the bolt. Looks like quarter inch drill bit is going to be perfect. So what I'll do is I'll drill through where I marked my holes. I'll go all the way through the front and the back. Then once I have holes in the back, I can use the spade bit to make bigger holes. Just trying to hold the drill as level as I can when I punch through. So these holes will go on these bolts. And then I just got to use a spade bit to open this up so that there's room to use the socket wrench. Okay, hopefully this goes well. Just 
takes a little while to get through these layers. Definitely not the smoothest hole, but the 11 millimeter socket wrench fits in. And that's all I will need. Okay, we'll take these nuts off. My initial hole was off by a couple millimeters. Try this again. Need to step up the drill hole size a little bit. Perfect. Then we just need to put the nuts on there. Second nut back on. Okay, light is secure, this is secure. Not beautiful, but it's functional. Awesome. So it's a bit of a tight fit getting that one and a quarter inch PVC with a one inch diameter into the pool noodle. So I'm just gonna borrow some assistance here. I won't be recording that part but I'll show you what the final result looks like. See if I can use a spade bit just to make the hole a little bit better, uh, bigger at the start. So the spade bit goes in about five inches. So to be able to drill into both ends, we're gonna cut it at the 10 inch mark. Ten inches. And then I'll measure this one ten inches. So now I've got two 10 inch pieces. I'm gonna drill from this end and then this end so it'll slide on the PVC pipe easier. So the blue pool noodles had a thicker diameter hole, so they were easier to put on. The orange, I had to really work for it. I had to use a spade bit on both ends, and these are two 10-inch sections. So I drilled the five-inch spade bit from here and from here. So I wanted to be pure orange, but a little mixture of blue and orange works out as well. And then I have the orange at the top uh, for visibility when I'm backing up the trailer. So that will just go on right there.
It looks pretty darn good to me. So now I will glue that part, uh, I will glue this part together. So that is one done, now we just need to do the other side. This side I'm gonna do 12 inches, just so that I don't have to drill a hole uh, through the 90 degree elbow this time. Okay, I'm already getting smarter. This time what I'm gonna do is take the bolts off first, and then with the light off, I will mark the bolts against the pipe here. I should have done this the first time, but I didn't wanna take the light off just in case there was any um, wiring that might come loose, but seems to be in there pretty good so I'll take the bolts fully off first take the light out and then I'll put the marker through to make my dots on the pipe that way that way I know they're lined up perfectly This way I can line it up here and I'll put the marker through on this side to make my dots. That way I know that they are perfectly lined up. And also this way without the elbow on yet, I don't have to get it perfectly lined up straight. This can just go on wherever and then when I put the 90 on then I have to make sure it's straight. But when I go through the bottom, I still want to make sure the drill is nice and level. So I'll put the light back how it was first. Then put that onto the bolts, put one of the nuts into the socket wrench. The hole being the perfect size for the socket wrench also helps guide it. I don't have to like worry about lining it up perfectly because that bolt is smack dab in the center. Put the other nut in the end of the socket wrench. So this time I can't fully tighten the nuts until I get this 90 degree elbow on there or else there wouldn't be room for it to slip on. So I've just got to put some glue on here. Put some on the inside and on the outside of this. I'll just do that edge because I don't want to get it on my trailer. Okay, then we slide the 90 degree elbow on. Jam it as far as it'll go. Then we just want to make sure the 90 degree elbow is nice and straight. Now, we can, now that the elbow is on, we can tighten these all the way. So now that the nuts are nice and tight, just make sure the elbow is straight. 
put this on loosely just to see for now. Looks pretty good to me. So that is the finished product. That's what it'll look like. I've just got a glue here and here and she is completely done. There's my boat in the water way down there. I'll be taken out of the, out of the water in the next uh, day or two to prepare for the tournament. And then we'll see what that looks like on the back of the trailer here. But it looks pretty great to me. So there you go, a simple cheap way just to put some, some guide posts on your boat trailer. Used existing holes, bolts, and nuts. Some one inch PVC pipe and then some pool noodles over top. So we'll see how long this lasts, but I'm pleased with it. And the orange will give some nice visibility when backing up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this DIY tutorial on how to add guide posts to your boat trailer. If you guys haven't seen my other videos on installing a floor and a deck in my John boat, make sure to check those out. And if you guys like these videos and my fishing videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be having lots of DIY projects coming up in the future over the next few months as well. So stay tuned and hope you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm.